The President, please be seated. Le, pr Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The president, the president, the hearing uh, on the facts which uh, has been uh, uh, scheduled. And before I give the floor, uh, before the trial chamber giving the floor to the co-prosecutor to ask a question to the accused, uh, the trial chamber um, announced its decisions as the following. The trial chamber uh, grant the request by the civil party group number one to direct the parties to clarify on whose behalf of a request is being made on the documents filed by them. The reasons the civil party group number two filed a request on the 26th of March 2009 seeking a ruling instructing the counsel for the accused to tell the accused to refrain from gesture towards them. They stated that this request was made after a meeting of the 23 civil parties who had expressed their discomfort at certain gestures made by the accused, which they interpreted as being made in order to seek the sympathy of the civil parties. The lawyers for the civil parties, group number one, asked not to be associated with this request, noting that it appeared to have been filed on behalf of all civil parties. The trial chamber heard orally the expression from civil parties group number two on the 27th April 2009. No other parties asked to be heard. Decide. It was ailleurs, not clear from the request filed by civil party group number two group that request was filed on behalf of a limited group of the civil party. The request should clearly state on whose behalf they were they are made for the benefit both of the court and the public generally. Uh, uh, point number two, the trial chamber uh, announced that it La will hold de instance, um, where the hearing uh, conducted this morning. The trial chamber uh, uh, will not uh, sit uh, from uh, the 1st to the 15th of, um, of um, June due to the Jean. fact that the pre-trial chamber Étant has scheduled its hearing on that date, um, which is um, scheduled by the pre-trial chamber. Um, Qu'il y aura à ces dates des uh, corrections from the 1st to the 5th of June. Donc du 1er au 15 juin. Du 1er au 5 juin, l'interprète se corrige. Car the des president, uh, once again, the trial uh, chamber informed the party that Capit the Capit trial chamber uh, uh, will not conduct its hearing from the 1st and uh, uh, the 5th of June because the pre-trial chamber uh, need to conduct its hearing par, uh, in uh, the hearing uh, hall where it's planned by the pre-trial chamber. And the pre-trial chamber, uh, the trial chamber uh, uh, will not uh, 
plan to uh, conduct a touring on mm. in July uh, and August intention or de July uh, uh, the program the pre-trial chamber uh, will uh, take from the 27th July through 31st uh, and um, the trial chamber and the pre-trial chamber will discuss uh, this matter and after its discussion uh, the trial chamber will notify uh, the parties uh, on that matter. Uh, um, the President, uh, please, your on uh, cut rights. Just clarify in English the second part of that ruling, uh, because it was not clear. The trial chamber does not plan to have any recess in July and August of this year. However, the pre-trial chamber has noted that uh, it intends to sit between the 27th of July and the 31st of July, uh, and um, uh, so the presidents will discuss whether that can be clarified or not. Thank you. Um, the President, please uh, Council France for you. Maître Roux, je vous en prie. Just to attire très respectueusement l'attention de la Chambre sur nos problèmes d'interprétation avec parfois effectivement des choses absolument contraires qui sont traduites. Je viens de comprendre que la Chambre n'a pas l'intention de suspendre les audiences au mois de juillet et août, alors qu'au début, il a été traduit, la Chambre n'a pas l'intention de tenir des audiences en juillet et en août. J'attire à nouveau l'attention de la Chambre. Nous sommes dans un processus judiciaire. Est-ce que vous réalisez les, les conséquences dramatiques que nous risquons d'avoir sur certaines déclarations de l'accusé ou des témoins quand, après interprétation, on a when after an interpretation quelque chose de totalement inversé. You have a meaning Je voulais juste attirer respectueusement l'attention de tout le monde sur cette question. I just Merci wish beaucoup. respectfully to draw the attention of everyone concerned to this issue. Thank you. The President, please uh, charge uh, Cartwright. Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Maître Roux, that was precisely Merci, why I corrected the English immediately. Uh, and I'm sure that um, all my colleagues in the trial chamber would agree that if lawyers for any party see uh, uh, a similar error, they should advise us immediately. Thank you. The President, uh, next, uh, uh, please, um, uh, prosecutors, continue your question uh, to the accused. À poursuivre leur, uh, interrogatoire de Thank you, Mr. President. Le -procureur international. Once again, I shall remercie, try Encore, to make my questions as short as possible. Mes questions soient and aussi speak courtes as que clearly possible, as I can, et je vais essayer d'être aussi clair que possible so that the dans interpreters mes questions de manière à permettre uh, aux interprètes fassent de leur mieux They are doing a very difficult job in difficult circumstances. exprimer ces questions de la manière la plus claire possible accommodate them by speaking in this way. que nous devons connaître et que leur travail est particulièrement difficile. Before lunch, uh, Mr. Gangek Yu, we were talking about the books you had gathered before S21 became operational in October 1975. 
la période de fonctionnement Just de so that de I'm clear, en octobre 1975. Juste pour is préciser les choses, before S21 started its operations, avant, nous parlons de la période avant la you création avant le début de collected de S21. Vous avez one, personnellement a book recueilli by the former director of the CIA, de Mr. Alan Dulles. Monsieur Alain Delis. Deuxième. A book on the KGB. Vous avez recueilli un livre and three, sur le KGB. A book Et troisièmement, or books un on des ouvrages torture sur in the previous Lon Nol regime. Sous le régime and you never read any of them. Reprend. Have I understood that correctly? Et vous n'avez pas lu ces ouvrages. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez déclaré? And they accuse uh, your understanding uh, is correct based on my uh, statement. I uh, wanted to read, but I don't have Sur la base de time. Ma je but uh, lire some of the book was not. Uh, 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 I was not interested in some of the books. Pas. After S21 became operational. Donc, après From October 1975 début, onwards, is it your evidence suite, that you didn't read any of those books from then on either? At no stage époque, during the time you were director or deputy de director, ouvrages, did you read any of those three books? Is that, is that correct? Um, que vous avez été nommé au poste de directeur de S21, vous n'avez pas lu I, ces livres. C'est ce que vous maintenez. Uh, like Je souhaiterais confirmer the readings que, of books, for example, par rapport à la lecture des livres, par exemple, uh, te uh, teaching techniques of uh, the French order, mm. but I, my friend was not uh, uh, qualified. Uh, but I asked someone to do the translation, but I did Alors not mon, mon uh, read uh, niveau, those translations. Uh, I want to read uh, the book on the communist uh, theories, the book of la uh, Stalin. It's on the Le uh, Leninism. I uh, kept uh, that apart. Because I was so busy uh, with my work, uh, but I had some problem with my language ability. But I lied to read um, uh, the communist theory, but uh, based on my uh, linguistic ability, I could not read that. I had no time to read. Perhaps it is my mistake. Was that a, a simple yes to my question? You didn't oui read à ma question, à any of those que three books that I mentioned. Ouvrages? Is that you can confirm that? Can you? Les ouvrages que je viens de citer. Est-ce que c'est ce que vous pouvez confirmer? Um, L'accusé. Uh, I would like to tell you that I uh, have a scheme on that, uh, uh, but uh, uh, the book on the KGB, I, I did not read it at all. So about livres. the technique of uh, teaching Et by uh, Laurence, uh, I read only a few pages about the tortures. Eh I read uh, the last là. part, uh, the, um, the statement pour, by Pope. Uh, uh, I la forget torture, the number of the Pope. Uh, exactement le, le nombre de le, le, la référence du, uh, de la partie du livre. Donc j'ai parcouru rapidement ces livres. Uh, Mr. President, uh, Judge Lavergne, the floor is yours. Monsieur le juge Lavergne, je vous en prie. Est-ce que pour, euh, au fin d'une bonne traduction, il serait For possible d'avoir le nom exact de l'auteur du livre sur les techniques d'interrogatoire Parce que tel que c'est traduit, euh, il apparaît bien français et euh, je crains que ce soit pas le, le nom exact, And puisque j'entends... Il s'agit de M. Alain Deleuze. Je ne pense pas qu'il ait été directeur de la CIA. Alain Deleuze et je ne pense pas qu'Alain Deleuze était jamais le directeur de la CIA. Merci, Yonah. Peux-je appeler le nom Le premier nom est A-L-L-E-N. Initial W. 
surname D U L L E S. D U deux L E S. Certainly not French, to my understanding. And the same goes for a book said to be written by the Pope. Uh, that, I'm afraid, Your Honor, I know nothing about. The accused would have to be asked specifically about that. Alors, je ne suis pas sûr. Il faudrait poser la question directement à l'accusé pour vérifier le nom de l'auteur de ce livre. Your Honor, I should say that I have the book. Uh, by Alan Dulles, if the court wishes it, but I wasn't intending putting it before the, the trial chamber, Dulles, as this is a, um, just one point. Thank you. I'm moving on to my next topic, uh, Mr. Kangek Iu, and that is your suitability for the work at S21. Before the meeting, or should I say, by the time of the meeting with Son Sen in August 1975, it is correct to say that you were a dedicated member of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. That's correct. C'est bien vrai. The accused. L'accusé. Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. I joined the party member. I became the full-raised member Je suis on the 20th of plein July 76 in Kampong Thom. That's why I said my superior was not an ordinary party euh, member. He was a member of the stand. Oh, he was a candidate member of the standing committee. Uh, I, myself, du just an ordinary full rights member of the party. Let me restate euh, it clearly again. De I was a member de dire, of the party, du party, a full rights member un of the party, de plein droit, and my superior parti, was at the upper echelon. He was a member of the standing committee of the center. He was a candidate centre. member c'était un membre of candidat the standing committee du of the center that is different du centre and as you've told us Et you were considered um, by the party and by your superiors as a loyal and trustworthy cadre membre du comité permanent you can confirm that can't you uh, membre loyal du PCK The accused. L'accusé. From the words that I did under his supervision, and now when I considered Pour the circumstances at the time, I believe oui, he trusted me. Et avec recul, also that he had my trust for the party. qu'il avait confiance en moi. It's also correct to say that you had a proven record in interrogating enemies. You'd had four years at M13. That is correct, isn't it? Ces quatre ans d'activité que vous avez passé à M13. Est-ce vrai? The accused. L'accusé. I apologize, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, can you repeat your questions because I had difficulty to understand the Monsieur translation. Le je pas bien la traduction. It is correct to say that by August 1975, you had had at least four years experience Vous aviez in déjà working quatre with interrogation procedures. Dans Isn't that correct? Des techniques, des procédures d'interrogatoire. The accused. Est-ce que yes, ceci est vrai? I had experience. Oui, je disposais d'une expérience. Right or wrong experience from what I learned. Bonne ou mauvaise expérience de ce que j'avais pu apprendre. And it's also right to say 
Mr. Kangekyo, that you had, and you still have, an extremely good memory for names, places, and dates. Would you accept that? Est-ce que vous concéderiez que ceci est vrai? The accused. L'accusé. I have uh, a lot of memories. I have good memories. J'ai beaucoup de souvenirs. J'ai but I am not sure whether it is 100% accurate or what is the percentage of my uh, uh, memory. But I myself, mais in comparison to other people, I can remember more than them. Je peux me rappeler de plus de choses que, que ces personnes. Can we say then that international? As far as the party was concerned, in August 1975, you were the perfect candidate to control interrogations at S21. la direction, contrôle et les interrogatoires pour le centre S21. L'accusé. Mr. Hu. Mr. President, excusez-moi, est-ce que vous pourriez inviter Monsieur le Procureur à éviter ce que nous appelons les questions fermées, c'est-à-dire une question qui contient elle-même la réponse qu'attend le Procureur Est-il vrai de dire Est-il juste de dire Est-ce que vous êtes d'accord avec moi sur le fait que ça, enferme, ça tend à enfermer l'accusé dans ce que l'on appelle une question fermée Et je croyais savoir d'ailleurs qu'en common law, ça ne se faisait pas trop. Mais j'ai dû oublier. Mr. President, I am seeking to put very simple, very straightforward questions to the accused, as we have all had experience in the manner in which he gives his answers. We have remarked that the longer the question, the longer the answer. And I am attempting, on behalf of the co-prosecutors, to elicit information as simply and as clearly as I can. I make no apology for the way I ask my questions, and I think the defence remarks are inappropriate. I submit, I'm sorry, the defence remarks are inappropriate. President, the trial chamber took note of the objections by the defense counsel and we consider it inappropriate. So the co-prosecutor can continue his line of questioning in its existing form, or in another form, as you wish. La Chambre rejette l'observation de la Défense. Thank you, Mr. President. I'll return to my last question. And perhaps I can give a number of alternatives for the accused to respond. 
and let him select which alternative he wishes. So, we have established, you have accepted that you are a dedicated member of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. You are considered by the party as loyal. You have previous considerable experience in interrogation, and you have, or had then, an extremely good memory for names, dates, and places. My question was, can we say that for the party, you were the perfect candidate to work at S21? Feel free to answer how you wish. No, I don't agree. Yes, I do agree. Or however you choose. But please help us with that. The accused. First, I would like to state that the true nature, my true nature as a party member, and of course I am a party member, but I am an ordinary party member. And the quality that you raised that I am a dedicated party member, I will put that issue to be judged by other people. Now let me talk about myself, my own quality. And I cannot judge myself. This is one thing. The other thing, yes, I remember a lot. But the question is, do I remember everything? I cannot guarantee that. Third, when I was selected, it's because of my experience in interrogation. If it's compared to other people, did they have this comparison between myself and other people? I would not know about that. This is their business. But for the S21, I could compare by making judgment from what happened in the past between Nat and myself and whether they trusted me or not. So the qualification that, I, that they gave it to me, then I would consider it in what position Donc, uh, they chose me as the chairman after that. So that's only happened after it already happened. When we Et looked donc, back in the past, we could see how they thought. So it, is, de, it, so it comes to the discussion donc, ça qui est en on analysis, on their opinions est une at the time. Des, des, des but it is it is hard for us to say absolutely what they thought at the time. This is just only our analysis. This is my response to you. The way the leader thought might be different, and the way I judge the situation might not be the same as the way other people judge. Yesterday, you told the court that you would rather die than lie to anyone. Is that what you wish to say? You are happy that that is a correct summary of what you said to the court yesterday? The accused? That is true. I never dare to lie. I never dare to lie to my superior. For example, I'll give you a very simple example. Before I had children, I never left the place. But when I had the children at 4 or 5 p.m., I went to the hospital 
But before I went to the hospital, I telephoned. So then the phone operator would inform the brother that if he looked for me, I would be at the hospital. Or if I went to dine at the brother's house house or check him house, then I would report. So I never lied. I never kept it. Also, the discussion between myself and brother Kim Ho Et la discussion entre moi on the spirit et, uh, of uh, touching. So I think if I go into detail, it will be very long. Je pense que this touching is about the raw petroleum from China. And they said touching spirit was high and appropriate at the time. Chine. But Brother Ho said, Oh, the Chinese petroleum had a lot of lead in it, and the American petroleum had much quarter, it's much better quality. But one day on the telephone, I, I slipped on this matter, and then my superior reminded me on this particular matter. So even for minor things, I did not uh, hold back. Donc, même pour des but now let me come mineurs, to this point, je, and the co-prosecutor can ask me, if I talk or say about anything, Si oh, why don't you, sujet, why don't you tell on the facts that you don't want to work for the security? That's what I said in the past. No, it's not necessary to look at the sheet to make, to know what it is made of. So we, I have to find my own means to live, and I would not be able to say, okay, I hate the security work because. It involves my relative or something, then you would have your head roll off your neck. That's what happened during the regime. So we talk about life and death at the time. That is my response to you. At the beginning of that long answer you gave, you said that you never lied to your superiors whilst you were working at S21. Did I understand that correctly? Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez dit? The accused. The security work at the S21, I never lied to him, never je lied to him at all. Whatever I knew, I reported S21. immediately. Because savais, if I cared, there could be a risk for me in the Sinon, future. Je risquais, uh, de mettre ma vie en danger à l'avenir. Telling, I'm sorry, I'll start again. Do you recall telling the co-investigating judges that you didn't really believe that the confessions taken from victims were true. I'll read out a passage um, from the interview dated the 1st of April 2008, document D67 in English, the ERN 0017763. And the question by the co-investigating judges, this leads to the question of the value you accorded to the content of the confessions. Did you think they reflected the truth? Did your ideas on this evolve over the years? And your answer? In fact, I did not believe them. In Koi Tuon's case, for instance, K-O-Y-T-H-U-O-N, spelling for the record, in Koi Tuon's case, for instance, I was sure it did not correspond to the truth, but I had no evidence to demonstrate it. Even the standing committee in my opinion, did not really believe in it. It was about finding excuses to eliminate those who represented obstacles. And a little bit further on in your response, you say, in reality, already back at M13, I knew that the confessions did not reflect the truth. So, first point, you accept today that that is which you, what you want to say to the court. That is your evidence on the truth of the confessions. Is that, is that correct? Or do you want to tell us something different? 
they accuse uh, the co-prosecutor, I uh, don't understand your Monsieur question. And uh, what is your question? question? Uh, please uh, uh, state question? it clearly. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous l'indiquer clairement? I, I read out a passage from your responses to the co-investigating judges. First of all, I merely want to ask, do you accept what you said then? Is there anything you wish to change from what I've read out? It's a yes or no answer. La réponse, il me suffit d'avoir un oui ou un non. The accuser, uh, let me uh, point out uh, one by one. Let's say uh, the confession of Koitoun so that we can uh, make it clear. Um, I'm asking the general point about whether the accused accepted that the confessions were true or were not true. I don't wish to get into the examples. We will be here for an extremely long time. L'intention de d'examiner les confessions une par une, sinon ça va prendre un temps infini. The president uh, to make it uh, more easier. Uh, please um, take the. A record of uh, interview uh, to show to the accused uh, and a point uh, specify uh, the point that the co prosecutor would like to ask for clarification. Uh, the greffier, um, uh, please um, uh, take uh, the record of uh, inter interview so that the accused can indicate uh, which part in D68, uh, which the co-prosecutor intended uh, for the a clarification from uh, the accused. Uh, the accused, uh, do you understand um, my explanation, uh, Mr. President, uh, with your leave, if you want to hear uh, my response during the investigation stage, uh, please do not show on uh, the screen. Uh, could the Cambodian uh, National Co-Prosecutor read that passage? Uh, which I responded to the co-investigating judges, uh, uh, and the question should be uh, made by uh, Mr. Alex or by the national co-prosecutor regarding the statement I made to the co-investigating judges. And uh, the president, uh, uh, can uh, we do? Uh, like this because um, uh, we found that uh, the question uh, was not um, well understood by the accused. Uh, can uh, the prosecutor reframe or make your uh, question um, easier so that the accused can understand and respond? And I can make this much, much simpler. And I can ask him, ask the accused now, today, sitting in the box in front of the court, whether he believed at the time he worked at S21 that the confessions were true or whether he believed they were false. That is the point I, I wish to make. C'est la question que je veux poser à l'accusé. The accused. L'accusé. Those confessions I reported to the hearings many times and I 
indicated to the investigating judge this many times. It uh, they do, did not reflect uh, the truth. Uh, this is uh, my statement. Uh, they uh, did not reflect the truth. Monsieur le Président, Monsieur le Président, pardon d'intervenir à nouveau, mais vous avez demandé au parti d'essayer de poser des questions qui n'avaient pas été précédemment posées. Effectivement, sur la question des aveux, l'accusé a dit à de très nombreuses reprises, et encore ce matin, qu'il ne les croyait pas au moins à 50%. Est-ce que nous devons perdre du temps à revenir encore et toujours sur les mêmes questions Monsieur le Président, Madame, Monsieur, peut-être l'heure est-elle venue de poser une question à la Chambre et au bureau des coprocureurs le bureau des coprocureurs a transmis à l'accusé un très long document appelé « Reconnaissance des faits ». L'accusé a passé des heures et des heures à analyser ce document et à y répondre. C'est le document des procureurs. Sur le passage concernant la création de S21, c'est un passage qui contient 28 paragraphes. Pour un seul paragraphe, l'accusé a répondu au procureur « Je ne suis pas d'accord ». Pour deux paragraphes, l'accusé a dit « je suis d'accord en partie. Pour trois paragraphes, il a dit non contesté. Et pour tous les autres paragraphes, il a dit d'accord. Il me semble donc que si on veut vraiment faire avancer ce procès, après les nombreuses questions pertinentes qui ont déjà été posées par chacun des membres de la Chambre, les questions des coprocureurs auraient dû porter sur le paragraphe sur lequel l'accusé a dit pas l'accord et éventuellement sur les deux paragraphes sur lesquels il a dit d'accord en partie. Sinon, nous avons passé des semaines et des mois à travailler pour rien sur ce document présenté par les coprocureurs. Alors il est peut-être temps, alors que les jours et les heures avancent, de savoir qu'allons-nous faire de ce document. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. I'm grateful to Maître Roux to bring us all back to the agreed facts. And perhaps it was a, a rather inelegant way of putting a, a simple question on my part. But the co-prosecutors still understand that we bear the burden of proving the case. And the status of the agreed facts do not remove that burden from the co-prosecutors. But I take my learned friend's point. I don't wish us to take more time on this, on this particular issue. And with your leave, Mr. President, I would like to move on to the next point of this issue.
the trial chamber notes that the objection made by the defense lawyer uh, on uh, the questioning of a repeating question, it is uh, correct. And so the prosecutor, please uh, uh, be cautious to avoid any repeating question. And uh, the repeated questions is not only at the facts, uh, this fact, but other facts under M13 and uh, the child, uh, the, the accused uh, response. So if you uh, ask that again, it would be a repeated question. Um, the trial chamber reminds you to try to ask the question based on uh, the facts uh, listed for uh, the, the hearing so that we can hear every fact and the uh, Remark by the defense counsel regarding the agreed facts, uh, the non-contested uh, non fact, and the, uh, the fact that uh, agreed partially, and the trial chamber have. Uh, has discussed this matter, and we uh, cannot avoid uh, any. Uh, hearing any uh, discuss because it is uh, a criminal case, but uh, we need to uh, limit the technical of the uh, hearing. We need to find a better way to uh, conduct the hearing. So if there is no objection, uh, the hearing will use uh, less of time uh, than usual. And to move on, um, please, uh, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, continue your question. Thank you, Mr. President. Regarding the confessions that you did not believe were true, or what you told us this morning, 50%, did you ever tell your superiors or anyone with whom you worked at S21 that you did not believe the content of the confessions was true. The accused um, in relating to uh, telling to the staff, I think that the lesson that I taught to my subordinates uh, who took notes of that lesson, it uh, can so uh, everyone should uh, pay more attention. Uh, this is uh, the term that I taught to the subordinates. So it shows that um, uh, the confession was not uh, true. Number two, there was evidence and proof. Uh, please, uh, co-prosecutor, look to the notes book of uh, Brother Mom Nai. I described about the Chinese film, and you uh, read its uh, uh, bullet. And uh, and uh, the button I described about that. So effet, the interrogation lesson I told them it was uh, difficult. So uh, I did not uh, tell anything uh, about the confession Donc to my subordinate not whether it is true, uh, fifty percent true. Savoir, I did not uh, tell them that, but I need to tell them to be careful uh, to work on and on. And uh, regarding a report to uh, the senior, I uh, never uh, told this to the superior whether the confession uh, true or not. So when an arrest made again uh, someone, I try to uh, to to complain to the senior, I told him that it seemed not uh, to be true, and uh, the superior told me 
What happened to you, Duit? This is the confession by Kuhn. And this is uh, the statement Kuhn. to me and to et the superior. But both of us um, knew that uh, certain, uh, a number of co confessions were not true. Que des, que I told des him aveux that uh, maybe uh, the victim was not dit, uh, true. And he told me that it was the confession of a contemptible Kuhn. And this is the the real situation that I would like to uh, bring up for analyse, but uh, if you want to uh, me to analyser. confirm that I si uh, tell this to the superior, I dare not tell the sub uh, subordinate in open, otherwise I will be uh, beheaded. So in, in my capacity as a chairman, I had uh, to do the job, whether or not I like it, I need to uh, tell them uh, everyone should try to work hard so that you can get the truth to the maximum. And if you want me to uh, confirm just one part of it uh, on all confession, I cannot do that. I'd like to move on to the committee of S21 when you were deputy. To establish S21, is it correct that a committee was created which followed the same format as other communist units. What I mean well, is there's a chairman, a deputy chairman, and a member. Chairman was not, deputy was yourself, and the member was Hall. My question is, how often did this committee of S21 meet whilst you were deputy? in the early days. The accused, um, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, uh, when I was a deputy, Monsieur le co -procureur, du temps où adjoint, uh, the meeting uh, among the three of us, the, there was uh, no uh, uh, les trois. one at the most. But I was always with Nad. Nad asked me to do the technical uh, matter from one step to another. So if the co-prosecutor would like to know, I can explain about that. I'm interested in asking you the one meeting of the S21 committee when was it and what was discussed? The accused, uh, Mr. Uh, Co-Prosecutor, uh, the only one meeting that we uh, uh, attended is the uh, annual uh, uh, assembly of the S21, and I reported to uh, the co-investigating judge. So everybody attended uh, that assembly. Nat was the chairman, but the one who chaired the meeting with uh, the doctrines or the uh, uh, communist uh, party uh, theory, Nat uh, allowed me to, to do that, to preside to chair the meeting. At that time, we discussed and uh, we need to continue the socialist uh, revolution and to build up the socialisms. Uh, when there's a matter arise, what should we do? And we continue our discussion to late uh, at night and then we could understand the matter. This is uh, the meetings uh, among the four, voilà, the four of us. It's open uh, widely to all uh, party uh, members at S21 uh, can attend it and listen uh, to that uh, uh, discussion. Et, uh, After that, uh, most of the time, uh, uh, not 
asked me to do a certain technical matter. So um, it is the meeting of the uh, uh, party committee of S21 in late 1975, it's early 1976. Mr. President, I'm moving on to a new topic. Monsieur do you wish me to continue this topic now, or do you wish the Chamber to rise for a break? Est-ce que, avant de passer à cette autre question que je souhaite aborder, vous souhaitez que la Chambre fasse une pause? You can continue. It's not yet time for a break. L'heure de la pause n'est pas encore arrivée. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to ask a little bit more about your own training and the people from whom you learnt your skills in interrogation and torture. You've told us that Vaughan Vett taught you at M13 about the method of plastic bags over the head and to look for the, the throbbing vein at the side of the neck of prisoners to determine whether they were telling the truth or not. I don't understand where you learnt other forms of interrogation or torture. From whom did you learn them? Which books did you use? Perhaps you can help us. The accused. L'accusé. I would like to state to the co-prosecutor that the learning of how to torture from him is only two types. First is the use of the plastic bag over the head, and as I already reported this to the chamber, I myself I did not have any plastic bag while I was at M13. And when I was at the S21, yes, we had the plastic bag, oui, but we, had the, we still maintain that principle. It means we, if it's not necessary, we did not have to use the plastic bag method. And on finding the pulse on the sides of the neck, if the pulse is strong, it means the person was aware, or if in the legal term it means the person was guilty because he was excited. So from my experience, uh, uh, maybe this uh, observation uh, was not effective. Et donc, si vous voulez, uh, le, cette pas I'll repeat my question more simply. Le international. Apart from Vaughan Vett, who else taught you personally qui the techniques of interrogation and torture? I'm not talking about the types, but I'm talking about the person who taught you. Qui vous a the accused, the person who taught me how to torture, was the Lonal Regime. That is number one. The inspector at the PJ, he beat the Khmer Rouge prisoners, and I knew. Even if the Sihanou police at Tulkok did not beat me up, but the inspector Chit Yu and inspector Chiu beat the Khmer Rouge. That happened in the Lunar Regime, and that Lunar Regime taught me. And second, it's the French Regime. The French tortured members of the Vietnamese Labour Party. And in the Khmer translation, it was from prison to Kostrolaj. 
that is that book describes the types of torture. C'était un thème décrit pour that's how, that's about the forms of torture. torture. And that's what I knew and that's Parler what uh, I learned. Ce so savais, in total, appris, donc. in M13, the interrogation ah, method, M13, uh, let me tell you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, in the end, when I saw the failure of finding the weapons toward the end of 73, euh, the best people at euh, Omlay, about 50 or 60 of bien, them, la base I was so upset, Omlay, il y en avait so I had 50. to think of a proper interrogation bien, method, je so I looked at the theory de bonne of uh, Mao Zedong, that he wrote de Mao in his book, qu'il a décrite dans son livre the theory was from Sun Tzu, la théorie venait the de warlord Sun of Tzu. the great warlord of china le grand guerrier chinois you have to know yourself clearly vous devez vous and know your enemy clearly bien et vous devez bien if connaître you know votre ennemi enemy si clearly, vous connaissez bien si vous connaissez in bien votre ennemi you will never be defeated once et bien dans Vous ne serez so that is vaincu, the theory I use in my um, experiment. Au cours so de I, I, I drew experiments from that. Donc so during interrogation on Ngatsum Bon, I learned from that experience. Appris, and that the truth might be up to 50%. The est substance. De la substance. And the teacher who taught... I did not believe uh, much of it, be, maybe 30% of it. But for those who were sent to the countryside, I think for those, uh, probably their confession was 0% true. Que, uh, la so, my experience from the interrogations autres, was a combination 50, 30, from all these. Euh, en fonction des personnes, donc moi j'ai appris les euh, tout seul, qui étaient euh, autodidactes, mais d'autres personnes ne pouvaient pas le faire pour le camarade Paul, je l'ai formé à cette activité, et il, il a, a as as montré me. des compétences, so like il était habile, mais il n'était pas aussi habile que moi, c'est ce que je voulais vous dire, moi j'étais autodidacte, personne ne m'a appris, personne ne m'a appris, Donc, and about the beating up, euh, I learned it from the local and the French uh, inspectors, the police. Le de frapper, eh bien, moi, je l'ai appris des Français, je l'ai appris de la police, et non, non. Earlier this morning, in response to question. questions from my colleague, Ce matin, en réponse à une question, Mr. Dantenaron, you described how there were three types of documents that Monsieur. were used to train you vous avez dit y avait trois in the months just before S21. And the three documents were political, psychological, and assignment. At least that was the translation I heard. Can you tell us what you mean by political, psychological, and assignment documents? And perhaps give us some examples of what those documents actually were. Et pouvez-vous nous donner des exemples de la teneur de ces documents Mais, the accused, it is not difficult for me to repeat again, eh bien, and I would like to say it again as well, il me, il me pas because the study method of the communists uh, is a bit les, strange. Les From what I learned, from 1971, I did not talk about the secret uh, sessions that I studied at another house in Street 163, but from 1971, the documents fall into these uh, three categories. One is the political document, and what is a political document? It's, a, it's about a view on the situation. For example, this year, what is the situation of the enemy, and what is our situation? For instance, in 1971,
in that year the enemy was Lunar and then the coup d'etat was successful but the people did not support it and we have only a small percentage of the liberated zone and then the King Sihanouk was the opportunity for us that was in the political document and what is the ideological document the I, the ideological document is about nous placer dans une situation favorable et quel était le party member we have to work harder than the masses membre du parti nous devions travailler to receive the nous devions the, the product after the masses that is the training le produit on another point le message which Ça, is en quoi you can la call it the ideological uh, doc document for example, the most part of the party, it's not your property, it belongs to the party. So if the party requires it, then the party take it. If not, you just keep it for the party. So this is a type of document on ideology. And let me continue. When we have a conflict or disagreement, we want to win. That is wrong. Nous voulons it means, avoir le dessus. It means we serve Cela ourselves more than the interests of the party. We have to facilitate, to compromise, to listen to the party. Les intérêts du parti. And nous then we have to join hands to euh, fight the enemy. That is the type of the document on ideology. And what about the organ organizational ce document? document? Qui a trait à la, euh, à In 1973, ensuite, there was a line, okay, and I talk about that uh, line uh, frequently, with, because it has its criminal nature. No. So, so whatever the class is, Pardon the line is for that class. For example, for the proletarian class, then the line exemple, is for that proletarian class. Proletarian. And the, ca the cadre, if they are not proletarians, si they would be dropped. So if you are not proletarian in the proletarian class, you have to strive to be in that proletarian class. Vous devez, vous and don't just think about your own promotion. Ne pensez pas à votre and don't just to be promotion. easy and comfortable by yourself ne without looking at the difficulty euh, of the masses. Then that is wrong. So what votre is your class origin, whatever it is, you had to learn to be proletarian. Donc vous devez Otherwise, you would be dismissed. Class, vous devez à so à that is the type of documents on the organization. Et donc Every year, the documents document fell into these three categories, political, ideological, and organizational. Donc, and that was politique, up to the day of this. Organizational. That was up to the study session in 1973 when it's finished. Donc, There was no longer such document. Et donc, en 1973, la session de formation des sciences de formation jusqu'en 73. Le président, maintenant, il est temps de faire une pause de 20 minutes. Le président, maintenant, il est temps de faire une pause de 20 minutes.